Massive quantities of radiation have apparently been released in an accident at the Chernobyl power station in the Ukraine. Many thousands of people live in the vicinity. Moscow admits there have been casualties and signs are that a big relief operation is underway. Western reporters were denied the use of the satellite, so these would be the only images the West would see. The message from Moscow is still that only two died at Chernobyl, but they now say 18 of the injured are seriously ill. It's a huge story, the biggest nuclear disaster ever, but they had no footage. The, the Soviet Union had not released any footage, had not even really admitted it had happened. And so it was an interesting challenge for news teams all around the world to see how they could cover this massive event when they didn't have anything to show. I have received a report from the World Health Organization which has been gathering the doses that were measured in some 21 countries in Europe. At a minimum, my current calculations would state 320,000 fatal cancers in Europe plus the Soviet Union and approximately 13,000 cases of leukemia, most of which will be fatal. I think my estimate is a cautious conservative one. One of the reasons I'm so sure of that is that I haven't a single measurement of cesium for the Soviet Union. And I know that the Soviet Union was heavily irradiated in some places at least. But I estimate zero if I don't have data. Where I grew up in Queensland, Redcliffe, these poor kids from the school there, Chernobyl school children, they were sent on a trip because they were dying. And it was like, a, you know, who we are, charity. And the tree these poor kids planted as a memento of their visit to, to Queensland and Australia. And I thought, man, that's so sad. I feel it a dubious honour to be one of the first Australians to stand so close to it three years after the accident happened. Decontamination is continuing, and they say I'm not in any danger, but it's impossible to feel comfortable about that. The Soviets now acknowledge that initially they were tardy with the truth about Chernobyl, but we're told that the average radioactivity reading at the plant is now well below the international ceiling. But we see men wearing masks, apparently for their protection. All workers are paid a bonus. It's been dubbed a coffin bonus. I feel like my understanding of it has actually grown more and more throughout the years and, and, and now we can put it in this real historical context. Probably destroyed the Soviet Union in a way because it was such an economic disaster. Um, I think Gorbachev said that, you know, that it wasn't, you know, Star Wars or Reagan that ended communism, it was Chernobyl.